Hey folks, Classic here with a quick how-to on singing health from D&D Beyond to Roll20 with Beyond20. This is a follow-up video to my how to import slash integrate your D&D Beyond character sheet into your Roll20 with Beyond 20, which covers the basics of using Beyond 20 and how to install. If you don't already have Beyond 20 installed or have yet to watch my prior video, I recommend checking out before this one. You can find a link to that video below in the description. A few things to note, I'm using the free version of Roll20 and D&D Beyond for this video. Though this method does work with the paid for content, the GM will need to validate the game and character settings for this to work. Finally, you should already understand the basics of Roll20 and D&D Beyond. In Roll20, we need to make sure a few settings are selected as the GM. In the game launch screen, click on the settings button and then click game settings. Scroll down till you see character sheet template and make sure it's on D&D 5e. Now we need to set up our character, which we want to have the health sync from D&D Beyond to Roll20. You probably already have a character created in D&D Beyond. If not, go ahead and create one real quick. One of my videos on how to do so will be linked in the description. For this example, I'm using a level three human warrior named Ella Bloodkiller. Once you have your character created in D&D Beyond, we need to set up our character in Roll20. Navigate to Roll20 and launch your game. Once loaded, click on the journal in the upper right hand corner, then click on the add button, then character. This will add a new character. Go ahead and update the avatar and select who can view, edit, and control this character sheet. Next, copy and paste the name of the character from D&D Beyond into the name field of the character sheet. It is important that the name is exactly the same on both your D&D Beyond character sheet and your Roll20 character sheet. Next, we need to select a token. You can use any token you want. For this example, we're going to use a free asset in the Roll20 art library. Navigate to the art library, select 01 characters, and then select a token and drag it onto the map. Next, we need to link the token to our character sheet. While the character edit panel is open, select your token and then under the default token in the character sheet edit panel, panel, click use selected token. You should now see the token image below the default token. Go ahead and save the changes. Next, navigate to the character sheet tab, click on edit sheet directly, then enter zero into the current hit points box. Next, double click the token on the map to open the token settings. Locate the represents character selection drop down and select your character. Next, locate the attribute selection box for R1 and find HP from the options. Then go ahead and save the settings. You should now see the zero we entered into the character sheet appear above the token. Next, we need to update the health and once in D&D Beyond, which Beyond 20 will pick up and sync the changes to Roll20. You should now see a health bar above the token and the max hit points and current hit points sync to what D&D Beyond shows. If you have your character sheet open like we do here when we update it, it won't show accurately until you close out and reopen it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button so others know it was useful. If you have any questions or need help, let me know in the comments. For more tech, music, or me just being bad at games, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and until next time.